today we're going to talk about this motherboard as you can see this is from MSI B450 Gaming Pro Carbon Max Wi-Fi all right so this is a little bit add-on on B450 chip as you can see the, there are um, more than three four version of uh, same motherboard that it make they added a little bit on the top and put a different name but technically all of them go similar sort of features but this one little bit different as you can see it says Wi-Fi Max so that's mean it doesn't only have the wired connectivity at the same time it does have wireless connectivity and this is quite similar to this old B450 Gaming Plus Max motherboard this is little bit different uh, this one doesn't have type C connector this one comes with type C connector at the same time also it comes with the built-in Wi-Fi okay as well as it comes with Bluetooth 5.0 okay so this box uh, pretty one as I can see this is kind of glossy and quite strong uh, box they made there are a lot of features already that it explained so first before we get inside the box we're gonna check outside what it says so we might can have some ideas why right? so first of all as you can see it says MSI with the MSI logo and mystic light option which is enabled and it says MD motherboard with M4 socket of course and this is B450 mean B450 chipset they used for this both motherboard but today we are focusing on this one this is gaming pro carbon max wi-fi so from the name, from the title, we can find some sort of idea. What does it mean? Because that says Gaming Pro Carbon Max Wi-Fi. If you check these two words, Carbon and Wi-Fi, there is a relation with the motherboard because they use one of the top kind of heatsink to keep it cool, to get the best performance. At the same time, Wi-Fi is built in. That's the first thing. And also it says, MD Ryzen 3000 desktop ready and MD socket M4 so remember this is make sure you buy the right one this is M4 socket PCI Express 3.0 Microsoft Windows 10 ready overclocking support that's the first thing if you check on the sideway we can see it talks about series which series it is first second and third generation of Ryzen does support and then also it says ethanol with radeon beggar graphics okay that is also great and at the back that is the main highlighted option as you can see it says all about the features wi-fi built-in dual band you know and then we can see the ddr4 uh, ram slots four of them and then it shows the actual thermal plate for the nvme or m.2 uh, SSD and second thing it says steel armor yes of course on the graphics card PCI slot they put steel I mean super strong physically it's strong build and then also it talks about the mystic light as you can see also there are other features highlighted it says all right so if you check back of the motherboard we can see a lot of features and then it talks about the actual heatsink and then obviously M.2 because they use a thermal plate on the top and obviously bias button features type C okay so if you look at this this sort of highlighted option they used these are the extra features from the old one that's what MSI always does that you know as you can see the difference okay so now we're gonna open up the box and exactly we're gonna see what is in there okay but if you want to find out quickly what is inside also you can check this overview IO shield overview photos in here it says the bias flash button USB 2.0 then HDMI and display door connector one of them and Wi-Fi obviously dual antenna then LAN connector for your uh, wired connectivity for the internet and then 3.1 first generation and 3.2 second generation as you can see one of them and obviously USB 3.2 generation type C and the audio jack and stuff but anyway this is kind of messy description we're gonna check inside how it looks so let me open up the box and see what is in here okay first of all we can see the actual look of the motherboard which is comes in a paper tray 
make sure you lift up you lift up this cardboard otherwise you would not be able to pull this out so that's the first thing okay before we get into motherboard we're going to check what is inside the box that it supply so this is the plastic kind of tray for the motherboard and this is IO shield as you can see okay nothing special but it does have printed details about every single ports and connector and this is the one MSI kind of advertisement it talks about all the other uh, the component they do sell the graphics card series and gaming gear and stuff like that if you may interested on it this is the one it's a logo MSI dragon logo you can stick into your desktop at the front or back at the front or top whatever you like the driver this is the motherboard driver if you don't have internet connection then after you build your PC after you reinstall your windows or freshly install your windows if you need any driver support you don't need to get into internet because you can get all the drivers from here this is a kind of yeah those are the sticker you know you can mark it like it says boot disk so example if you have more than one drive you can put the sticky label okay you can just put the name and stick to the cable just to identify cable so this is quite handy okay thank you that you purchased from MSI good the quick installation guide as you can see a lot of illustration a lot of pictures it shows how to install it very handy make sure you keep it especially when you connect the power connector and stuff like that and restart connector and also they did supply the book the bible for this motherboard every single thing in here so if this is first time in your life you are building a pc then make sure you do give it a try first to read to understand every single thing and the description wow these are the one antenna dual antenna for the motherboard for Wi-Fi and that is kind of RGB connector cable that is the SATA cable so pretty much that's all now we're gonna check the actual motherboard how it looks so we can see what's the feature included the actual motherboard that is anti-static back as you can see this is comes sealed make sure you check it out if your one is not sealed might be no brand new refurbished or something like that so brand new one always would have a with the tape okay. so that's the actual motherboard as they mentioned this is carbon and they added the carbon heat sink and stuff like that okay so now let's check it out first i always focus on this io connector this is the bias button 2.0 USB if you bring it to focus and that is the PS2 for mouse and keyboard nowadays nobody does use it then one HDMI connector and this is the display port right next to it as you can see the dual band Wi-Fi connector we're gonna put antenna later on and then we can see RJ45 for wired connector for the internet or networking and then this is the first generation 3.3.2 first generation this is 3.2 second generation only one it does have and obviously it does have one type c connector which is right bottom of the 3.2 generation second generation one and obviously gold plated audio connector which is absolutely brilliant for the sound quality if you talk about the sound then i definitely need to mention this audio power boost chipset as you can see all right so this one does amplify the sound to get better performance in sound quality we're gonna see back of the motherboard how it looks okay this is quite standard there is nothing to be surprised I would say always try to avoid to touch it and we can see in the corner there is RGB light in there a lot of LED so one two three four five six seven eight seven eight or oh, eight LEDs are in here nothing else to mention let's go to front of the board okay so from front of the board this one have all the cool features like this one as well 
B450 Gaming Plus M2 for NVMe or M.2 SSD that is the shield and this shield does help to reduce the temperature to for the better performance and if you check the PCIe graphics card connector this is the proper steel they put it around the slot graphics card quite heavy and heavy load could damage if that is made from plastic it could damage your graphics card PCIe slot but it does protect because of the metal shield in there and another one also does have a little bit no completely metallic so one of the metallic another one is quite standard only the plastic and here as you can see this is CR2032 battery for the date and time and you know see what we can see this is the proper as you can see the proper carbon fiber made proper heat sink the best ever made for B450 motherboard so this one make sure it keep it cool and there is the chipset B450 and that's that's why you can upgrade it and overclock it easily that's the one and this is if you talk about the socket this is M4 and it does support all Ryzen processor and this one also one of the great heat sink quite thick like so did there are four slot for the ram and this support ddr4 and also it does have so in total two m.2 or nvme ssd connector one of them here another one is there and 24 connector pin in the corner so it's easy to managing the cable to all the sata connector in the sideway for easy cable management there is the atx connector in right here and lot of system fan connectors around the body there is nothing else to mention too much about all the connector because pretty much it's same like other motherboards nowadays all the motherboard comes with a lot of fan connector and stuff like that and this is the audio jack audio jack pin and this is the rgb one then the system fan connector right here and that is for usb and that is also for usb 2 and that is for system and this is 24 pin connector as i said system fan this is for the pump if you have liquid cooling and that is for cpu fan for this one and that is also another one cpu fan if you would like to know how to update the bios by using this button you can check another video pretty much i would say the quite heavy bowl is the atx format it is now micro atx so complete size make sure you do uh, focus into it if you buy the micro atx case it, it would not fit in there so you need the proper ATX size. It's quite heavy that it improved the audio chipset first thing and also the Wi-Fi connector and especially for heatsink. And that's all about this motherboard briefly. I'm gonna build a new PC. You can check in my other video and I'm gonna talk about the BIOS also, how to set up BIOS and stuff like that. It's very difficult to bring everything in the same video. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope I will see you in the next video still. If you do have any question uh, regarding this motherboard, make sure you leave it in the comment section and I will try my best to reply. And don't forget to check out rest of the videos regarding this motherboard, either how to get into BIOS and enable the USB boot and stuff like that, or how it looks in reality when you build the PC, because I'm gonna build a PC and everything will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.